Welcome to the cockpit of the 42. I'm just going to cycle through my chase plane views. You'll be able to find them on the chase plane in the community section if you've got this aircraft and you want some views. But we're going to quickly go into the cold and dark startup. I'm just going to go through it uh, pretty basic. Or this is how I do it anyway. As we jump to the overhead and turn the battery on and connect the ground power, uh, it's nice to see that Carinado have used some new sound mods when it comes to this aircraft. The blue interior reminds me of the D022 aircraft that they uh, made many, many years ago. From here, I will program the very, very basic FMS. Um, I'm not going to show you that because uh, that is quite a boring and it is very basic and missing a lot of features. If you do have the GTN uh, 750 from Flight One, I would highly recommend installing that and getting that to work, but I didn't do that in this case because it is a test drive. We usually just show uh, the basic model without any add ons of third party equipment for the test drive. Now the FMS is configured for the flight, so we're just going to turn on all the power, all the hydro, all the fuel pumps on. Uh, we're only going to demonstrate starting up one engine just for the length of the video today. So just repeat. We're going to turn the engine start and press start on number one. We'll quickly add the fuel. Both engines are started, we're going to turn the oxygens on and going to turn on the packs on and we'll put the temperature in the cabin up to 20 degrees turn on our air conditioning and our taxi lights and also we forgot to put our seatbelt signs on we're pretty much all configured and ready for taxi we are all configured and are ready for taxi. We're going to make a left turn here. Uh, today we are at Gold Coast International Airport, YBCG. Uh, I believe it's Orbex uh, scenery here. Uh, we're going to be making about a 250 nautical trip south down to uh, Sydney YSSY uh, to test out the ATR today. One thing I did notice on taxi uh, with this aircraft, it seems to want to keep taxiing well, sorry, it wants to keep it moving left or right once you take your foot off the rudder pedal. So you need to bear in mind preempt that um, when you're turning. As you can see, when I make the right hand turn here, the aircraft does lean over. I was lucky enough to be here a few weeks ago at this airport, um, uh, plane spotting just down the end of the runway 14, 14. So if you get a chance in real life, it's, you can get some really 